Hello and welcome to all of our viewers from around the world. We have quite a game in prospect here, just waiting for the players to emerge and we will be underway. And our live game is Athletic Bilbao against Deportivo. I'm Peter Drury and joining me here, our expert Jim Beglin. Thanks for that Peter. Hi everyone, the excitement has really picked up now and up to meet it! No, he didn't quite meet it right. Poorly directed kick from the keeper, he's given it away. Hits one! Goal! And it's Deportivo who take the lead! Yeah, looking back at that, that's how you play on the counter. Quick and decisive and ruthless with the finish. I thought it was a stunning, stunning breakaway. Deportivo take the early advantage. Modric. Denis Suarez. Out to the left it goes. Deftly done. Going through. Has a hit. And Juris gets into a dangerous position. Athletic Bilbao. Oh, enjoying great form. He's tried one. Just off target. That's just plain unlucky. There were many, me included, who thought that was going in. It's Ajuris. It's Ajuris! Oh, great save. Real class. The keeper really dug out his defence then. A magnificent effort. And oh, he's got that completely wrong. Oh, I'm not sure what he had in mind, and um, I don't think he knew either. That's a poor kick by the keeper, he's just given it straight back. Passes it through. Well, the further he went, the more attention he attracted. There was just way too much pressure for him to get the shot away. Shot a goal! He's missed another one. They're just lacking a cutting edge, Peter. And while that's fairly obvious, the rest of their attacking play is actually quite good. Juris looks to slip it through and that'll be a goal kick and there is the half-time whistle so there you have it a close fought half of football but one that still had its moments but ultimately produced just one goal a more than decent game up to now well that certainly pleased the fans and the players are definitely happy with that scoreline the question is now can they protect it Deportivo, the happier of the teams, heading in for half-time, 1-0 up. The action has already resumed here. Deportivo carry a one-goal lead into the second half. They're actually not getting too tight, which is interesting. No. It's probably... Can he finish? In it goes! Two up now, and they are cruising. Well, you know, thinking about that, I think they've perfected that on the training ground because it took them seconds to get the ball from back to front and they really commit forward in numbers too. That was all very well drilled. 
Deportivo grab a couple of goals without reply it's 2-0 well at 1-0 this contest was still nicely poised but now that it's gone to two mindsets are affected a lot more winning belief one way and that losing feeling the other and it's Raul Garcia Aspas oh that is lovely footwork and the ball is out of play the changes then in quick succession where to from here that is Suarez tries a through he's had a go decent enough try yeah he may have snatched at that a bit even though it was quite close it so nearly came off for him well Peter I think it's fairly obvious he's one of the biggest influences out there challenge he just stood firm looks like a can he put it away they are rampant unbelievable and they are cruising away oh, a goal of real quality he made it look ridiculously easy well most of those go high and wide because of their difficulty he made it look like he does it every day three without reply this is becoming a stroll. And he's gone for it! Saved only by poor finishing. Well, it was hit with great power, Peter, but sadly, not great precision. So, the manager making the last of his changes. Well, for me, this was the obvious substitution. He'd become just a little jaded. And as a result of that, he was most likely to make a mistake. I think sometimes when the body becomes tired, the brain goes with it. And I think that's happened in this case. Now the pass. Going for goal! And that's it. A 